In this video, we'll review human clinical data for dialysis herbal waters for blood glucose management. At the outset, I'd like to state that these herbal waters are functional waters which serve as supplements for helping with your blood glucose management. All consumers should follow regimen prescribed by their physician and this product is supplemental to your current pharmaceutical therapies. These uh, herbal waters from Diabolus can be used by diabetics and pre-diabetics. The trials were conducted as per international norms and protocols. Human clinical trial with Diabolus herbal waters for blood glucose management was administered by an independent third-party clinical research organization. The protocols for the tests were developed, reviewed and approved by ethics committee. Ethics committee typically consists of a diverse group of medical professionals and community representatives to ensure appropriate safeties and protocols are uh, in place to ensure the subject safety. The studies were augmented by a significant body of literature on the ingredients used. In this human clinical trial, 45 type 2 diabetics were recruited by the clinical research organization. The subjects were approximately evenly divided between men and women. Average age of the subjects was 45 years. Extensive baseline results were uh, uh, obtained to measure various blood glucose parameters such as fasting, postprandial blood glucose, HbA1c, which is the three month average uh, blood glucose levels, lipids levels, triglycerides, kidney, liver function, uh, you know, a total of 23 parameters were measured as a baseline. Uh, it uh, serves as the starting point for the data analysis. The 45 subjects were given diabolous herbal waters designed for blood glucose management. They consumed 15 ml of this water mixed with 500 ml of drinking water and this uh, mixture was consumed in equal proportions at breakfast, lunch and dinner. The subjects came in at various predetermined times and their blood work was performed to measure blood sugars, lipids, kidney, liver function tests. During this trial period, the subjects continued to consume their normal medications as we wanted to truly measure the diabolous herbal water as a supplement. Firstly, we are very happy to report all subjects enthusiastically completed the clinical trial as, where they, as they were seeing significant benefits in their health and wellness. There was no safety incident reported during the trial. All vital tests such as kidney and liver function were normal during the six month period of this clinical trial. Now, let us review the clinical data trends in detail. In this table, you will see the tabulation of fasting, postprandial, and HbA1c data for 45 subjects conducted over a 180 day period. Average fasting sugars lowered by 12% in 30 days, 21% in 90 days, and 48% in 180 days. Now let us look at postprandial, that is two hours after consuming the meal. This is a measure of the blood glucose levels after consuming uh, a known quantity of food. You can see average postprandial blood glucose levels reduced by 12%, 22%, and 43% respectively on day 30, day 90, and day 180 respectively as shown in this table. The all important HbA1c or glycated hemoglobin, which is a measure of one's blood glucose control over a three month period, reduced by an average of 17% in 90 days and 20% on an average in 180 days or six months. We also compared key blood parameters between men and women and found that both men and women saw similar reduction in all blood parameters. Most importantly, all subjects showed lowering of blood glucose parameters. In this next table, we'll see the tabulation of lipids, which is total cholesterol, LDL, triglycerides, HDL. It shows on an average 10 to 15% reduction in all lipids across the board. Here again, lipids control was similar between men and women. We've also reviewed how diabolous herbal waters work with various medications being consumed by subjects. 
The diabetics in this study consist of three main groups of consumers. First group of consumers of 11 consumers or subjects consumed metformin, which is the normal front line drug used to treat diabetes. Then there is a group of 17 subjects who consumed a combination of metformin and glycoside. And the third group of 15 subjects consumed metformin and glimpride. There was a, another two subjects, which is too small a population size that con consumed uh, metformin and wildagliptin. In this table, you will see from the, uh, that fasting, postprandial and HPA1C worked in a similar fashion irrespective of the medication used. The data you can see shows a substantial incremental improvement in performance among the 45 diabetics above and beyond the current medications. An average decrease in HbA1c of 1.8% for the whole population translates to roughly 20% as we stated earlier reduction in HbA1c levels, 48% reduction in fasting and 43% reduction in postprandial. In terms of effectiveness, 100% of the subjects responded to lowering blood glucose levels, which is very substantial uh, finding indeed. So, we can infer that herbal water for blood glucose management is showing outstanding performance as a supplement. But however, we have to be very clear, we are not claiming that this is a standalone medication. We are able to demonstrate the positive impact of diabetes herbal waters for blood glucose management as an adjunct supplement. Thank you.